everyone it's Jenny again and I am back today with another video and for this card I'm going to use a Christmas gnome set by Sugar Pea Designs and I'm going to turn them into little valentine gnomes so I'm gonna start by stamping out two of the gnomes from the set with some Gina K amalgam black ink onto some Nina 80 pound cardstock and I forgot to show but I also added a heart to the little gnome that's sitting by masking off his hands and using the heart stamp from Lawn Fawn's Milk and Cookies. And as far as the coloring goes, I'm just going to color those in with some Copic markers and a bunch of pinks and reds. Once the coloring is all done, I use my scan and cut to cut out the images. I'm going to use this vintage Valentine paper pad from the Paper Studio, which I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just trying to match these little gnomes against the uh, best pattern papers. Since this was a Christmas set originally, I pulled out Lawn Fawn's own gnome stamp set uh, to use for the sentiments. And I'm going to go ahead and take an everyday banner from Lawn Fawn and cut out a little black banner from some black cardstock. Then I'm going to emboss the saying, there's gnome one like you, with some um, white detail embossing powder. And then for the other gnome, I'm going to stamp out to a friend like gnome other onto some more black cardstock. And then heat emboss some of the same white detail embossing powder. Instead of a banner for the second card, I just trimmed out the sentiment with some scissors. So to bring this first card together, I went ahead and cut out a stitch scalloped heart die to put behind the gnome and I couldn't decide whether I wanted the bigger one or the smaller one but I ended up going with the smaller one and then I used some Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle stackables to cut out the A2 size card front for that. On to the next one I used the Waffle Flower A2 layers dies and I cut out the second largest frame 
from the patterned paper and then the largest frame out of some craft cardstock. So I start to put together the card bases and score them at four and a quarter and then fold them in half and go over them with the bone folder. Then I just go ahead and start gluing them down with some Tombow Mono liquid adhesive. For the second card, I wanted to bring in the craft cardstock color onto the main panel, and I chose to do that by using some um, jute twine, and I just tied a bow. And for some extra dimension, I just added some white liquid pearls to the first card. And that's it for me. These cards were relatively clean and simple, but I think still super cute. And these gnomes are so versatile, I think you can use them for any holiday, just depending on the way you color them. So thanks so much for stopping by, and if you want to see more crafty videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Any additional information can be found on my blog at cutiepatootiecrafts.com. Thanks!